Welcome to Amanda's Braid and Braid Handmade. I promised uh, you that I would talk a little bit about the YouTube channel, the idea of starting a YouTube channel, which I've just done. I have six videos and three little shorty things, which I'm only getting the hang of, as you might have noticed. Um, yeah, the whole thing, the YouTube channel i'm delighted i'm delighted i've started it um it's something i've wanted to do for a long while i knew it would make sense to do it uh, for the business and um it's also a challenge it's another challenge to do um and i'm a firm believer in get the gist jump in do it and get on with it and don't worry about you know the critics and people you know just the world out there looking at you to see what how you're doing it and if you're doing it right and if you're any good and all the rest i learned a long time ago that there will be critics there will, there will always be critics and supporters and the critics you can learn a lot about from the critics in fact but even the supporters that's great but it, it doesn't move you forward it'll give you confidence it'll help you you know find your confidence but it doesn't actually move your business forward and in the same way the critics don't really keep your business back um moving on from the what i was saying there about the critics yeah um it's not really really about the critics at all what was i saying yeah more to do with jumping right in get a move on start learning um i find that when you you can think about it a lot you can prepare it a lot and if you're waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for something to be perfect uh, it's never going to be perfect for a start but also all the while that you're reading and learning and surmising and trying to think you're losing valuable time um it's a bit like getting your first business card you get the card and you're wondering oh my god everyone's going to see this they're going to know but really hardly anyone is going to see this and so far even with this video the few videos that i put up only a handful of people have seen them and i'm delighted that they looked and i have some subscribers as well i think i have nine so still have nine so the thing is that you you've got nothing to lose you, you have to think about it that way it's 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 when i was younger things would hold me back because i was very shy up to about the age of 17 i didn't like to even walk into a room i was full of acne and i was just full of insecurities and all that stuff that can go on with teenagers and just that kind of thing but i'd still go to sports and do all of that kind of thing and get involved while at the same time I was super shy and very self-conscious and all of that and I kind of was sick and tired of it and I read up on a few books when I was a child and just read up on quite a lot of stuff and I just taught myself somehow um, that really people are more concerned about themselves all these different little ways of taking the attention off yourself when you're doing things so with the result people always think that I'm like bursting with confidence and I would do anything and it's not really true essentially i kind of worked myself up to do certain things and i've really really realized over the years that people are very transiently interested in what you're doing so you'll do a thing and they'll comment and then they'll move on to the next thing they're busy in their lives they've got other things to look at you're not they're not focused on you in the way that you might think if you're kind of a self-conscious person so if you stop yourself from doing things that you think might have you might enjoy or might advance what you're doing if you stop doing those things because uh, you're worried about what what people are going to say or what they're going to think or if you're going to do it right or what um it's a waste of your life really um for no reason it's just a fear that you just have to figure out a way through so you just have to figure out a way to get yourself out there do the thing and get on with it it's not that you become oblivious to people it's just that you begin to realize how little it matters that they see it or don't like it or do like it or support it or don't, all of that. Okay, I'm going to pause for a second because I think I've run out of space on the video. Just a second. So once you have yourself, you've got over your initial fright of being behind the camera, in front of the camera and that whole thing of the exposure and this makes me laugh because you think oh my god everyone is going to see this it's going to be out there all over youtube and it's like yeah if you got the chance wouldn't it be great if it was all over youtube but um yeah 
So I'll move on from there. And just once you've got over that initial kind of, oh God, cringe uh, well then it's just it. It's like anything new. You, 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 it's think, you think it's a major deal before you do it and then you do it and you're like, well, what was all that drama about? So when you move on from that, then the next step is what to do about it. What are you going to put into your YouTube videos? What are you going to think about? What are you going to talk about? What are you going to show? What angle are you going to um, come from? And the problem is not um, what could you possibly dream up to talk about. It's more what are you going to limit it to? how you're going to frame it because it is such a broad opportunity it's so massive it's it's like a whole sea of things that you could talk about or comment about or show or portray or whatever and you have to kind of whittle it down whittle it down to something that's going to be tangible to the people watching and something they could follow and something that you could somehow distill you have to distill it all into something something of value maybe something that's going to be relevant to people and and also it will help you it will help you consolidate all of your effort into a cohesive message and show i suppose um, my worry is that I, I'm not entirely sure exactly which way to go with all of that. So I'm going to kind of have to gauge it by reaction um, from people and maybe comments, viewership, etc. Subscribers and also what I'm able to do. Um, there are areas that I'm simply not going to do on a continuous basis i might just comment and that would be um to do with admin and to do with running like the actual number crunching data discussion um breakdown of analysis of criteria as such and such and such of shopify or etsy or printful or digital downloads or any of those things um I'd be more inclined to show you uh, a a new project that that I'm thinking of doing, or how you know I I like I love to try new projects. It keeps me alive. So I've always got a few in train and a few on the way. But it's just then, what are people going to be interested in, and how can I marry the two? What I can feasibly do every week, and what people actually want. So we'll have to see how that all works out. So yeah, so it's what you're going to to put into the thing, and then that whole thing about. First of all, you have to get over the fright of being on uh, on camera. Then you have to figure out um, just where your little area is going to be. What are you going to focus on? Uh, what the material is going to be? And then how are you going to present it? Are you going to be uh, high tech? Or are you going to have your blanket over the couch like this? Or are you going to hand hold it? I'm not. The techie end. The techie end. Probably people think of that first, maybe. See? I don't think of that first. I did have a quick look to see what other people were using, uh, maybe what I should use, could use uh, in relation to uh, hand holding the camera, whether I should use the camera or whether I could use the phone. And then the details about the width of the image, the, the, the quality of the thing. But you can find out all of that really quickly. You just feed it into the Google search bar, say, details for youtube videos etc or criteria for youtube videos it'll tell you you set your your phone you start doing it you get an app that you're comfortable with you download it onto your phone there are plenty of them and off you go and it'll get fancier if i'm here long term it'll probably get a bit fancier now i do intend to get the um the tripod out again because my arm although it does need the exercise uh, it it is I would say it's pretty annoying uh, for the viewer to, to watch the wobble and the shake in the camera, the phone. So um, I will start to get the, the tripod out again. It just feels so official. This seems so casual. The minute I think about it, I go, oh yeah, sure, I'll just get the phone out and I'll do it. I don't know, who knows? Maybe it could be a thing. But let me know if it is a bit uh, annoying.
I'll, I'll grin and bear it and I'll take it on board. Um, yeah, so the camera. I do have one of those selfie lights, a nice one that I got last year. And it's a big process getting the thing out and it's a funny light colour. They're grand, but I just find them so false. And then I'm very private, so I could go to the window. I'm in a kind of a bright-ish room here, but it's winter, so it's not super bright. I'm conscious of that, that the quality of these videos are not great. And photography is supposed to be one of my strong points. So I will improve on that. I think I may just start trying to shoot these on a bright day or even in a bright spot. Um, <laughs> we'll see. I just I like natural light. I even like natural light in photography. I'm not big on studio, the whole techie thing. It's not me. Um, but I am getting a bit lazy. I haven't got off this couch for any of the videos, and that's not a good thing. So ah, things will shake up. It's okay, I'll shake it up and we'll I'll get the tripod out. I will get the maybe even a reflector. I'll get my reflector board down. You see, I've got very lazy with this because I want to squeeze it in amongst other things. I'm painting at the moment. I really want to work on that and get that moving properly. And I'm also making things at night time and I'm keeping up on the site. I got rid of a few apps off the site this morning and all of that. So this I want this to be part of what I do and I want to enjoy it and I want it to be fairly consistent and I want to get better at it. So that's kind of where I am with the YouTube. I can talk about it again. I thought I'd have more to say about it, uh, but I'm I've had two cups of coffee, so I've once I get started, I can't stop talking. Um, my arm will be the thing that'll give me away, actually. Um, mostly there's my fingers in the th in the thing. Now, um, let me see. Is there anything else to do with the YouTube channel? If you're thinking of doing a YouTube channel yourself and you think you have something to share, I'd say give it a go. Don't worry about being uh, feeling a bit awkward. Don't worry about it not being perfect. Um. The lighting, just if you get in front of a window with the light shining on you, that's great. If you're sitting side onto the window, get a reflector on the other side to bounce a bit of light back into the side of your face. And um, yeah, I mean, I have a cluttered background there, but if you want an uncluttered background, I've seen people with a dark background and I kind of like that. So I might just go for that. I know a lot of people have this very bright background, but I kind of like a darker background and a brighter front. I don't know. We'll see. So listen, I'm not going to hold it too long uh, for the moment. I'm just going to leave it at that and uh, get this off to you. And um, yeah, give me a like and a subscribe if you think you might like to hear a little bit more. And uh, good luck with your projects. If you think there's anything you can ask me about that I might know, ha -ha, uh, just ask. Maybe not related to YouTube channel, but that could be a bit of early days. But if you think there's anything that I might be able to help you with, let me know. In the comments and i'll respond so thank you for watching and good luck with your projects this week whatever you're doing whatever you're planning to do just do your best plan it as best as you can and then go for it what can happen what's the worst thing that can happen if you can deal with that then you can deal with anything all right thanks for watching bye <music>